After a week of almost unprecedented managerial turmoil, the players of Oldham and Luton relieved to get back to the business of actually playing football. Special guest Alex Ferguson, not expected to be a candidate for the job vacated by Joe Royal. Nevertheless, Oldham seemed determined to impress in the early stages. Jürgen Sommer's slip almost gifting the Latics a goal in the second minute. Sommer allowing a fairly straightforward back header to slip from his grasp, but Rick Holden's finishing not as cool as he would have liked. And that rather set the tone for the afternoon. Plenty of effort, but a lack of incisive finishing. Nicky Banger the next to miss what would have been his first goal for Oldham following Gunnar Haller's cross. It took 17 minutes for Luton to launch their first genuine attack. Paul Telfer finding Kerry Dixon in a useful position before the striker's snap shot was blocked by central defender Steve Redmond. With the keeper going the wrong way, Dixon's effort might well have found the net, but for Redmond's involuntary stop. Not the best of first halves for Luton keeper Sommer. He was in trouble on 20 minutes when Andy Ritchie put Haller clear. The Norwegian international easily evading his rather desperate dive. But once again, the Latics' hesitancy in front of goal came to Luton's rescue. Sommer grateful for some resolute defending from the Hatters' rearguard. They showed their stubbornness just a minute later as Ritchie produced another searching ball from the right. Sommer failing to get to it, but as Banger threatened, Trevor Peak arrived in the nick of time. Luton certainly living on the edge of their nerves at this stage. The Luton skipper's intervention couldn't have been better timed. As always, though, Luton produced some neat football. A well-constructed move on 23 minutes, probably the best of the match. Gary Waddock finding Scott Oakes, whose shot was too hot for Paul Gerrard to handle. And at least something for David Pleat to shout about. Goalless at half-time and not much sign of that changing after the break, although Luton's build-up remained impressive. Oakes and David Priest carving out a chance for Dwight Marshall. The angle just a shade too tight. In a hectic finish, Oldham saw several penalty appeals rejected. The Latics claiming Neil Poynton was shot down by Julian James, not given, much to the dismay of caretaker Graham Sharp. The referee quite right, though, the action replay showing a perfectly timed tackle. But Oldham almost made Luton pay from the corner, veteran Ritchie leaping high to put a header past Sommer, only to see Oakes clear from the line. But the real drama was saved for the final minutes. Another corner, confusion reigning in a goal scramble, the ball hitting the post, boots flying everywhere, and the Norwegian international Haller picked out as the guilty man. He claimed mistaken identity and he may have had a case. Watch out here for the number nine, Richard Graham. He seems to be the one who connects with Julian James helpless on the ground. A red card for the unhappy Haller, pleading his innocence to the local constabulary. But a goalless draw, enough to keep David Pleat happy. We defended very well, which is so important. We tried to pass the ball out of defence, and we certainly did. We just possibly weren't clinical enough in the final third, although we did one or two things in the third sub that were quite bright. Frenetic pressure in the end a little bit by Oldham, which you wouldn't expect. New possibility of a manager kicking slightly downhill, uh, crowd behind them, desperate for a win. And uh, they, they produced all the stops, but I didn't think they were uh, had the guile or cleverness to outwit us. How the lads are reacting to all this incredible speculation about David? Yeah, I think we're all pleased that it's, I'm sure he is as well, that uh, he's finally made his decision. And, uh, you know, it, which is the way he wanted to make it. But uh, we're very pleased that he's staying, uh, the players. And uh, hopefully we can get on with the job now. And uh, I think in this division, anybody can uh, can go up and win the win the championship or get in the playoffs. And so say all.